Hey guys, we're here at Song Summit 2012's Backstage Pass, which is being held at AIM. We're going to have an interview with Ray from Thirsty Merc and with Josh Pike. Hey Ray, welcome to AIM. And um, why did you get involved with APRA's Backstage Pass? Uh, well, I've, I've been involved since the start now. Um, about three years ago, Millie uh, Petriella from APRA, who's a great, great uh, friend and musical associate, and um, she's been amazing. And she uh, asked me to do it three years ago, and I got involved in helping, you know, students and, and aspiring songwriters get into it and um, showing them some keyboard things and also helping out on the songwriting front. And uh, I just really like inspiring people and, and um, I also learn a lot too. So, um, you know, when they asked me back, I was, I'm in it like a rat up a drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Stoked to be back. Yeah. And what advice do you have for the young students here today for a career, looking for a career in the music industry? Um, well, I think that, you know, I've got to say, um, I guess just being involved at, at uh, AIM, you've got a really great, um, you know, bunch of people, great facilities, and it is going from strength, strength to strength. I've really noticed that over the kind of couple of years that I've been coming in and out and doing master classes and things. And um, there's also a level of enthusiasm and positivity that's definitely there. Um, and I find that, you know, out of all the places that I can think of in Australia to study, it's arguably the best. Um, you know, especially if you're going to be getting into contemporary music and songwriting and, and the business aspects of it. Um, a lot of other places don't have that component to it. And uh, AIM definitely does, which is really, really great. Um, and I think it's, it is maintaining enthusiasm. That, to me, is the key element of anything, you know. I was talking to one of the other mentors today and he was saying that, you know, he's been making music for 40-something years and he was saying he still loves it. You know, he gets up in the morning and even today he was saying, you know, I get to, you know, teach kids about songs and, and yeah. do what I kind of love doing and it sort of almost doesn't matter what, what it is. It's almost, if it's related to music, he still loves it. And, um, I think having people showing younger people, um, if they've got that outlook, it definitely rubs off on people. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm also helping out on a, all the all the technical aspects of songwriting as well, and, and the keyboard thing, and how to hold your hands, and what fingering <laughs> to use on this keyboard thing as well. And we get into the nuts and bolts of it, but yeah. to be honest, it as the most broad, zoomed out version of advice I can give, it really is. Um, let your enthusiasms drive where you go. You know that's that's what musical musical uh, journeys are. They're they're sort of like a strange journey driven by enthusiasm. So, oh, thanks, Ray. And we always love having you come back on campus here. So it's good to have you back. And um, what's up next for Thirsty Merc? Um, well, I've been living over in the States for the last couple of months. Uh, I actually just came back from uh, LA to do this. Um, and I've got a bunch of things going on. Um, we're talking about a tour. I had a meeting about it last night, <laughs> yeah. uh, later in the year. Um, and yeah, we, we, we talked about some new recordings and stuff. So we'll, it's looking like we'll be doing some stuff on the road later in the year. And it's also looking like we're going to have a release to support it as well. I don't know if it's going to be a full album, but it'll be something like an EP or an acoustic version of stuff and you know a whole bunch of other stuff with a few songs and yeah I don't know yet exactly because I haven't recorded it but um, yeah I've been living overseas and sort of missing the guys a bit actually so yeah. it's time to get back in and do some stuff yeah we'll definitely come along to the tour if it happens later on in the year yeah that'd be great thanks Ray cool. thanks guys <laughs> We're here with Josh Pike. Hey Josh, Hello. welcome to AIM. Thank you. Um, what made you get involved in APRA's Backstage Pass? Um, oh, it's really, I mean, as corny as it sounds, I just, I like giving something back to, to the musical 
you know, universe. Um, and I get a lot out of these songwriting things. It's great to see um, kids getting involved in music and songwriting. And, you know, it reminds me of, of getting started in music myself. So, yeah, it's just good to be involved. It's fun. And what advice do you have for these young musicians here at AIM today? Well, I, th I think a, a big thing is, you know, not um, subscribing to there really being any rules about songwriting. In terms of the songwriting thing, um, you know, there's a lot of pressure about uh, being technically proficient and stuff like that. I really don't think you need to be to, to write songs. It's more about following your instincts and just having a creative outlet and, and um, expressing yourself. So that's the, that's the main thing I want to get across. Yeah, awesome. And um, what's up next for Josh Pike? Uh, well, I've just finished a tour and then I'm doing that Bob Dylan tribute show. Um, with a bunch of other people and then I'm gonna start digging into my next record. So yeah, gonna be busy. Yeah, cool. Can't wait for it to come out. Thanks, Thanks for having a chat and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much. That's why I gotta say M-M-A-D all the way. Can't you say hey, hey, hey.